So, getting ready to go take Steve to this new awesome spot that mom and I found yesterday that has the most amazing plants I've ever seen that this couple starts all from seed right in their backyard. And it's just so amazing. I had to go back and show Steve, plus I didn't have enough room in mom's car to get all the stuff I wanted. That's the real reason. <laughs> That's the real reason we're going back. <laughs> but really, I wanted him to see it because he does like to see kind of like the nooks and cranny places that either he or I find. Um, but it's amazing. I'm going to hopefully get to show you guys some of it. But um, I can't wait. Excited? Wicked excited. Steve really likes plants. He just doesn't like to be a fairy boy. I'm not afraid to admit it. I just don't want to go shopping for plants every day. And then digging holes in my rock quarry. He could really have one shovel. Yeah, and he gets to use it. I let him. And then I'm the one digging through the poison ivy. <laughs> but yeah, that's where we're going right now. <laughs> we we cut. Well, Steve cut a bunch of the logs up. They're all oh, cut. <laughs> They're all cut now. So excited now. We just need to move them out of the way and eventually split them. And I started splitting the stuff in front of the log, I'll call it the log hut, and that stuff's all season, so we put it inside to prepare for winter, you know, it's only four months away, so we need to get ready, but yeah, it's a beautiful day out, so why not, you need more plants in your life, everybody says it's therapeutic, I'm gonna get food from it, so it works for me. This is the place. There's flowers everywhere. I start all this stuff from seed. It's amazing. What did you think of my new secret garden spot? That's a place where you're going to dump my body. Come on. Nowhere. Yeah, but what did you think of the place? It's good. Keep the place. A lot of stuff there, though. A lot of stuff. A lot of healthy stuff. Yeah. Let me, let me go show you what I got the other day. So this is what I picked up the other day with Mom. All this. Tomatoes, cucumbers, squashes, peppers, and then I got some more today because we had the truck. We also got some apple trees yesterday, which I can't wait to get in the ground and get some apples. Like in two years. But, look at all this stuff. I got and the wicked nice lady took out her own tomatoes that she's planting in her garden and gave me two of her special stash awesome cannot wait to get these in the ground just need some dirt which is coming this week what are we going to do Steve I'm looking for my ball right now <laughs> let me check my pockets <laughs> <laughs> What are we going to do? We're going to go build a chicken holder. <laughs> a mobile chicken holder. Alright. Hey look, I found a ball. Thank God. I have two balls. What's the idea? We're going to make a chicken tunnel. Mm -hmm. So the chickens eating all their grass and weeds and whatever. And then we have all the stuff out here and over there and over there they can eat. We need to find a way to move them around, but without building a real chicken tractor because I'm not building anything else. I'm done building. That's what so he I'm thinks. Actually, I'm building something else. <laughs> so I'm going to build a tunnel and I'm going to cover this over and I can start eating all the grass and bugs and whatever's in here. And then we'll modify it and go over there. But it's lightweight and quick. Hopefully. You just gotta take a month to do it. <laughs> Are you on a plan two? Plan B. 
Not gonna work with the green stuff. What are we trying now? I don't know. I'm going crazy. Steve's gonna shake the chicken food and hope that they come over to him. And I'm gonna watch. <laughs> Big time helper. So we just stretched out some of this. You can't really see it. Um, bird netting. Go over the top and Steve stapled some of the green netting to the other side. So uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. All I know is it's probably going to be pretty funny. Probably going to be some chicken chasing going on. What you doing? You helping? Yeah. Hey babe, so now what are you doing? Well, I'm putting the garden fabric in this garden because for Steve's chicken fun for alls, there's not a tunnel anymore. I need to cover up these holes so they can come into the garden bed. But it needs to be done anyways because we're getting dirt this week. So I'm doing this while he takes care of the baby. This spins uh, kind of cranky right now. <laughs> so I'm going to finish this up and then hopefully we're going to corral some chickens into this corral. Yay! Corral thing. We don't know what we're doing. Just putting staples and nets and stuff everywhere and hopefully you hold some chickens where they want to go. Come on chicka chickies! Come on chicka chickies! Hey! Over here! Come on! Chicka chickies! Come on chicka chickies! Hey! Come on! Come on! Come on. Then we got the slow ones. Come on. Oh, then you got the smart ones. Come on. Oh! <laughs> Come on, chicky chickies. <laughs> <laughs> Farmer Steve. Look at how cute these ones are. They're like, we're lost. We're in the big unknown. Oh no! <laughs> so, how did that go? Went better than I thought. <laughs> Got everybody in there? Mine's the three little ones. Except for little dudes. Chicken view as they run away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> chicken Hi. Did you help with the chickies in the chicken canal? <gasps> oh, you gonna show them your foot? Oh, I bet a bunch of you guys out there can't do that. I had a second to organize my table of new stuff that we got. And these are all perennials. Can't wait to put those in. Got some annuals. What are these? Squashes and pumpkins. Herbs. All these awesome different tomatoes. Look at the size of them. I see ketchup, I see salsa, I see tomato sauce. Steve likes the whole We got peppers. <laughs> got like four different types of peppers. Got some really cute, um, they're called lunchbox peppers. They're like bell peppers but smaller. They come in all different colors. And then here, got some melons. And then we got our strawberry bear roots sprouting up. Getting, once the dirt comes, we can put those in. But yeah, 
this is all that I got from my new favorite plant spot. And of course I found it at the end of the season. Now I know for next year. Amazing. What's the name of the place? The Greenhouse. In what town? Templeton. <laughs> Which Steve says is like an hour away, but it's really 20 minutes away. Somebody's had a long day. I the chickens back in their coop. And what about those stinky ducks? Time for them to go to sleep. Ducks, time for bed. Good job. Good night, duckies. The ducks are good. The chickens are not. Come on, chicky chickies. Come on, chickies. And then there were two. Again. How come you guys are always last? Because they're Polish, they don't speak English. Speak to them, Steve. Come on, chicky chickies, get in there. Go. <laughs> Good night, chickies. Good night, babies. Yay! <laughs> and how'd it go? Not bad. They're all in there. They're all in chase two down. Of the same breed. I don't know what you want from me. We're done for the day. Time to go eat something and go to bed. Try to go to bed. It's all up to this guy.